In the context of transformer architecture, blocks are the fundamental building units that stack on top of each other to form the complete model. Think of it like a skyscraper, where each floor is a block that processes the data and passes it up to the next floor. In Seed VR2, the 3B model has 32 blocks, so it's like a 32-floor building, while the 7B model is a 36-floor building. Each block contains three key components. An attention mechanism, where the model decides what part of the image to focus on, fit for one neural networks that transform the data, and normalization layers that keep the numbers stable. When you process an image through CVR2, it goes through all these blocks sequentially. Block 1 processes it, passes the result to block 2, which processes it further, and so on until the last block. With block swap, instead of keeping all 32 blocks in GPU memory at once, we only keep a subset. We store the remaining ones on CPU ROM. When we need them, we quickly move them to the GPU, do the computation, then move them back. This way, you only need VRAM for the blocks you're actively keeping on the GPU at a given time. This is what allows us to run these large models on consumer hardware.